The 2016 surveillance video obtained exclusively by CNN shows Sean Diddy Combs grab, shove, drag, and kick his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura during an altercation that matches allegations in a now-settled federal lawsuit filed by Ventura in November. The footage, compiled from multiple camera angles dated March 5, 2016, appears to show the rapper, producer, and business mogul during an incident that, according to Ventura's complaint, occurred at the now-closed Intercontinental Hotel in Century City, Los Angeles. CNN verified the location based on publicly available photos of the former hotel's interior. In the video, Ventura exits a hotel room and walks to a bank of elevators. Combs holding a towel around his waist, runs down a hall after Ventura. He grabs her by the back of the neck and throws her to the floor. Still holding his towel closed with one hand, he then turns to kick her, the video shows. As Ventura is on the ground, Combs retrieves a purse and suitcase from the floor near the elevators. He turns around and kicks Ventura again as she lies motionless on the floor. About four seconds transpire between the two kicks, according to the video. He then briefly drags Ventura by her sweatshirt toward a room before walking away. Ventura is then seen slowly standing up. She gathers items from the floor and moves to pick up a phone on the hallway wall near the elevators. Combs, still in a towel and socks, returns. A mirror directly across from the security camera shows Combs appearing to shove Ventura. Seconds later, he sits down on a chair, grabs an object off a table, and forcefully throws it toward Ventura. Combs is seen walking away, then turns toward Ventura once again when an elevator door opens and someone appears to exit. Ventura, who reached an undisclosed settlement with Combs, declined to comment on the video obtained by CNN. Ventura's attorney, Douglas H. Wigdor, said, The gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Ms. Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. CNN has reached out to representatives for Combs and Intercontinental Hotels for comment. Combs has previously denied Ventura's allegations. Ventura's lawsuit Combs and Ventura, a model and singer known for songs like Me and You, Nengir, were in an off-and-on relationship from 2007, 2018. The two were photographed together at the Los Angeles premiere of the film A Perfect Match on March the 7th, 2016, according to Ventura's complaint, which cited the altercation as occurring around March 2016. Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Ms. Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye. After Combs fell asleep, Ventura attempted to leave the hotel room, but he woke up and followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her, the complaint said. He grabbed at her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her, causing glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape, the complaint alleged. After Ventura got in the elevator, her complaint states that she took a cab to her apartment. Upon realizing that her running away would cause Mr. Combs to be even angrier with her and completely stuck in his vicious cycle of abuse, Ms. Ventura returned to the hotel with the intention of apologizing for running away from her abuser, the complaint claims. When she returned, hotel security staff urged her to get back into a cab and go to her apartment, suggesting that they had seen the security footage showing Mr. Combs beating Ms. Ventura and throwing glass at her in the hotel hallway. The complaint alleges Combs paid the Intercontinental Century City $50,000 for the hallway security footage of the incident. The incident was part of a number of allegations made in the November lawsuit in which Ventura claimed she was raped in 2018 and subjected to years of repeated physical and other abuses by Combs. Ventura, who was formally signed to Combs' label, claimed in her suit that he exerted his power and influence over her throughout the course of their professional and romantic relationship. According to the complaint, she was 19 when they met and Combs was 37, and their business relationship lasted until 2019. It detailed claims that Combs was physically violent toward Ventura and forced her to engage in various sex acts with other men during that time. Ben Braffman, an attorney for Combs, said in a statement to CNN on the day it was filed, Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. The suit was resolved the following day. A decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing, Braffman told CNN in a statement at the time. Mr. Combs's decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He is happy they got to a mutual settlement and wishes Ms. Ventura the best. 
Details of the settlement were not disclosed. Ongoing legal issues. Since November, Combs has faced five other civil lawsuits accusing him of a range of sexual misconduct and other illegal activity. He has denied the allegations and the cases remain active. Authorities searched Combs' homes in California and Florida in April as part of a federal investigation carried out by a Department of Homeland Security team that handles human trafficking crimes, according to a senior federal law enforcement official briefed on the investigation. The investigation stems from many of the same sexual assault allegations put forth in the civil lawsuits, according to a second law enforcement source familiar with the searches. Aaron Dyer, an attorney for Combs, issued a statement at the time calling the searches a gross overuse of military-level force. This unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits, he said. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. And that's a wrap for today's edition of Dance Hall Bomb. Thank you for joining us as we dished out the latest entertainment news and celebrity buzz. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to stay in the loop with all things entertainment. Until next time, stay fabulous and keep shining like the stars. See you in the next episode.